Have you ever thought you can make marble goods with porcelain clay? It is simple and easy, but it needs a little extra care. Because you can't knead the dough very often, so you need to be careful about it. Of course, start up by greasing your hands. I'm using this green dough as the main color. And you can take three or four more colors of your choice. I'm breaking them into small pieces so I can use a small amount of dough at a time. The main color dough is approximately five times bigger than the each of these colors. I'm breaking each color dough into four parts and dividing them into four small sections. This is just to prevent the marble dough from drying out. So these are the four sections. Leaving one behind, I'm taking away the rest of three sections and putting them safe in the airtight bag. Now all of these colors dough mix together to make the marble. Make sure every single color dough is well kneaded before you mix them because after once you made the marble, you can't knead it anymore. And when you are mixing these colors, be careful that you don't all knead them. Otherwise, you'll end up with a single color dough which would be brown. See how it's turning into the marble? Knead it carefully until you get the desired form. We are almost done. Remember, don't over knead it. When it's done, press and roll it between your palms. Then see the magic. It looks exactly like a marble. And this procedure is called marbling. And of course, grease your hands whenever you need. I'm starting from making the cups first. I'm going to make 6 small balls of the same size but I recommend you to make 3 first and preserve the rest of the dough. Because you may take little extra time in making cups and the rest of balls may start cracking in that time. Now take a makeup brush and use its handle to make the cup. Simply poke it into the ball you made and press the ball from its sides. Smooth out the sides by rolling it on the flat surface. Widen up the pit. You can use your finger and thumb to make it thin and even. And at last, with the help of a pencil, press it down on the flat surface to flatten up its back. Same method I have made the six balls and next we are going to make saucers. Roll the dough to spread it evenly. Check what size of the saucers would be okay for the cups. This toothpaste cap size looks perfect. So roll the dough long, then spread. Use a rolling pin or alternatively, you can use a glass. And spread the dough evenly. Now use the toothpaste cap to cut out the saucers. I cut the three saucers and remove the excess dough. This leftover dough can be used to make handles or save it for any later use. Do the more marbling when you need. See, this way you are preventing the whole dough from the drying out. Otherwise, by this time you gotta knead the dough and you know you can't knead the marble one. So I'm cutting out three more saucers and round the rough edges with help of finger. Then put it back turned upside down. Press the saucer from the center with the face of toothpaste cap. Then press with finger to make a shallow ball and tap down on the flat surface. This way a perfect saucer is made. Next make a marble ball for the teapot and check its size. Is it okay? Press it down a little bit to shape a teapot. See? Now I'm taking a smaller cap and press down the top of the ball. This way you have made the teapot lid. And put a small ball on the top. Next roll the dough for this pout which should be thin from one side and thicker from the other side. Cut it in slanting way with the help of a thread and check its size, it's much longer and thicker. So roll it again and cut again in slanted way with the help of a thread. On the other end invert the angle, this is your spout. You will attach it in the bottom of the teapot and curve it just a bit. But before that, let's poke the tip of the spout just a bit for illusion of a hollow spout. See, now it looks perfect. Next, roll some dough for the handle. When it's done, attach its one end with the teapot and turn it over. And turn it inward from the other side. Now you know the size. Remove the excess dough and flatten up just a bit. Next, get some PV glue and glue everything on the teapot. Handle is done. Glue this part. And yes, remove this tiny little ball and glue it on as well. Using the same smaller cap, cut out a small flat piece of dough. Round its edges, this is for the back of the teapot, so glue it on as well. After this, our teapot is complete. Check its back, now let it dry. Now, roll a thin dough for the handles of the teacups and flatten down just a bit. When it's evenly flattened, apply glue on a cup. Take one end of the dough string and attach on the top edge of the cup. Smooth out the end with the handle of the brush. Then turn it over, make a loop for the handle of the cup and trim the excess dough. Like this and yes, smooth out the sand as well. Your cup is ready. Finally, apply glue on the back of the cup and stick in the center of the saucer. Same procedure, get ready the rest of all cups. Our tea set is done now. Let it dry for at least a day, especially the teapot. Lay down a wax paper and place on your completely dried tea set. 
Actually, this door has extremely matte finish, so we're going to apply some gloss on to make it look a real marble. And this is a sealer spray with gloss finish. Don't forget to shake it well before you use and remove the cap. Spray this gloss sealer evenly on the teapot and the cups. When done, let it dry for at least an hour. Now they are completely dried. See how they look? Check this shiny little teapot. Does it not look like a real marble? Finally, grab a golden platter and arrange your tea set on it. A great decoration for your drawing room. If you want to know how to make this golden platter, keep watching my channel.